Hello everyone, I want to continue to talk about animations in Envision Studio to show you two examples of animations using triggers with gestures and timers to pull off some neat effects, so stay tuned for these examples. We can use triggers to fire animations after X amount of time. For example, I created these four artboards and I want to simulate this sort of loading animation uh, when we open our application. So I want this to start without me clicking on anything to trigger this. So how can I achieve that? Well, if you open this artboard, we can create uh, interaction using a, a timer. Let me just delete this and add a new one. So if I add a new iteration, I can trigger this using a timer, which is what I want. And I can say like, start Trigger this animation after 0.5 seconds, uh, after opening this screen. And I want to navigate to the loading one screen. And I want to have a motion animation. So let's see what happens. OK. So let's delay this less. And I think we can see okay. yeah. so now we can if we want we can customize what's going on here we can make the title start disappearing sooner if we want to and make the weather transition the logo sooner as well so we can we can fire this after we open the screen and we can do the same for all of these screens so after uh, the screen is open we add a trigger uh, and, and it will make a, a motion animation for 0 0.4 seconds and we do that for all of these screens until the last one where we do a slide up animation for for this one so this is a bit different here and our screen just slides up so this is how we can use timers to create these animations that we don't need to click on something to to trigger them now let me show you a different example i want to be able to swipe left on this element and show a button that lets me delete this location. When I click on the button, I want this location to be gone. So now let's set up the artboards so that we can pull this off. First, I want to duplicate this screen. Let me position this different location so that we can edit this more easily. And now I want to, let me rename this to locations delete screen and I want to position this different let me add a button here so that we can have our delete action so I'll position this button well, I could use an icon here but for the sake of this example, let's just keep this simple. Okay, so now let me create an animation when someone clicks on that. So I'll press C, and when someone, no, not taps, but let's see, when someone swipes left, I want to trigger a motion transition to this screen here. And actually, when someone swipes right, I want to go back to that location screen. So now let's see here. Let's see how this works so far. So if I swipe left, go here. Hmm. Well, that's we can tweak this this part here. Probably. So let me reduce the just the timeline here. 
and okay. All right, I see the problem. The problem is this this button doesn't exist on the on the first artboard. So let me just take this, go to the location screen, and I'm going to paste this button and put it here so that it's going to slide in. That's that's the point. So let me edit the timeline again. And let's go here. So this this is usually what happens when we add these elements after the transition animation is done. So we have to tell Envision that these two elements, uh, this button that, that exists on the second artboard and the button that exists on the first artboard, they are the same. So usually we can do auto link layers and it will try to match these. Oh, okay. But if that didn't work, we could also choose two of these uh, elements and we could do link or unlink layers. So that's a nice tip if you see something that's not uh, being identified right away. Okay, so now, yeah, it's working perfectly. That's what we want. Nice. So let's go move on to the second part of this animation. Okay, now I want to duplicate the screen so I can press Command D and duplicate. And I want to actually, let me just yeah, change this to zero, zero. And I want to trigger this to tap and do a motion animation. So now let's see how this works. All right, that's perfect. Yeah. So there we go. We've used the timer and tr trigger, and we use the gesture trigger, so we can do these animations. Uh, something's not off. I was. I was singing victory before time. Swipe right goes there. Tap goes here. So what's going on? Something seem right. Okay, so after digging around a bit, I found out that I forgot to uh, link the two buttons in my return animation. So I forgot to uh, link the button in the in my return artboard and regarding my my original one here. So I linked those two buttons and now the animation is working perfectly. Um, I also it was a uh, bugging a bit on these uh, transitions to zero opacity. So I just went and re reiterated that this as 100% opacity and now it seems to be working fine. So it was uh, a little bug, a little bug there regarding the opacity in these elements. So now it's working perfectly. So to, to get back on track, we added the swipe left trigger on this element that goes to this screen, so we move these elements a bit here to the, to the right. And when someone clicks the delete button, it will trigger and transition to the delete screen too. And we will just uh, reduce the opacity to zero here. So it will create this nice, nice transition between all of these screens. So that was everything I wanted to show you. Regarding animations, I think with just a few uh, of these, we can do some very impressive, very impressive uh, prototypes with absolutely no coding, and we can quickly demonstrate how the interactions in our applications would work on a real device.
So that's everything I had time for in this video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.